This podcast is brought to you in part by a special group of individuals that I like to call my Patreon podcast producers and all of them are over on Instagram. So please stop what you're doing right now and go show them some love because they're showing big love to this podcast. Daryl at your level fitness, Amy at Gem of the gym. That's G E M of the G Y M Caitlin at Caitlin Elise put three Y's in her name. Crystal at reduced fat mama. Emily at M is the biggest loser. That is E M is the biggest loser. Joey at Joey losing weight. Vanessa at Vanessa Ray's journey and Amber at Amber dot L dot Abel's follow all of these amazing people. Their contributions to this show are pushing it farther forward than I could have ever imagined. And I'll be forever grateful for their support. And if you want to join this special group, listen at the end of the show for more details. Are you team Apple? I got to shout out all of you checking out this show right now on an iPhone, iPad, etc. In fact, nearly 70% of you are listening to me on one of these devices. It would mean the world to me if you took a moment to leave a review. This is one of the best things that you can do for this podcast to help get the word out. And while you're at it, leave reviews for some of your other favorite shows. I bet they would really dig it. Oh, yeah. Dude, I, I just finished uh, editing my day five of my WrestleMania vlog series. And uh, I, you know, fingers crossed, knock on wood, I didn't have any memory card issues. But, dude, I just want to give you props as we start the podcast, man. I just want to give you some props because I know that you're a, a video creator and uh, you make a lot of videos. And, dude, that stuff is hard because, like, this video <laughs> that I edited was the sixth of uh the videos i've done this year like as far as like in the last month and i've been i've been trying to make a more uh bigger effort on youtube to make videos and i just want to give you props bro because dude that stuff is hard man especially the editing (laughs) tell me about it i've uh yeah it is hard that those videos those city videos it's like six seven hours editing each one it's a nightmare yes you know it's it's a long I've I've actually took a break the last couple of weeks because it was starting to affect me without for going out for my walks and my diet and things like that because I just couldn't fit everything into the day. So I've took a break off them, as yeah. you can probably tell by the lack of videos going on. But back on it today and. Yeah, it is hard work. So uh, props to you as well, mate. <laughs> well, no, I, I appreciate it. I, I, I'm i still learning. So like I, I made a vow to myself that this year I was going to make a bigger priority of YouTube. And, and look, you know, I know what the critics will say. You know, hey, it's it's very hard to get a footing on YouTube in 2019. Like, I don't even care. I just want to I just want to make videos. Like, I don't care if five people see them or 100,000 people see them. I just it's something that has been a passion of mine since I was a teenager when I back when I had a little VHSC camcorder and I just never put the energy behind it that I should have. And I said, you know what? Enough is enough. This is the year. So I started making videos. I started to learn Adobe Premiere, which is at first very, very daunting to look at. And now I'm starting to like, I'm not, I'm not a great editor by any means, but I'm figuring it out. Like what is the basic, you know, especially like going around a city. Okay. Here's some talking shots. Here's the B roll shots. um, And here's a couple of action shots. And, you know, that really makes a, you know, a good foundation of a good vlog. I think. It does, and you know, I'm I'm still learning, mate. Everything I've learned, I've learned from YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a so, lot of tutorials. Yeah, exactly, and it, it is hard. And I, when I went to Hong Kong with Simon, it was what, watching how much effort he puts into his videos and the work he puts in really opened my eyes to what you've got to do. Um, yeah, you know, and what you've got to be looking at when you make the videos. So, you know, you can see why he's doing as well as he is. Not only because his content's great, but because of the effort he puts in, and he's so like he he is a perfectionist in a way that he wants to get his videos spot on. So, well, yeah. I'm I'm glad I'm glad you brought him up because that is how we came together. Um, if I remember correctly, so basically, long story short, uh, and you can go into the details, uh, but 
you went on a trip with Simon to Hong Kong and yeah. I, uh, you know, I was, I watch every one of his videos religiously. I just, I love the videos. Number one, because it's great content. Number two, his edits are really, really good. And number three, there's a message under there and it may not be obvious, um, to people that just jump in, you know, maybe people saw the Mayweather McGregor video and they're just jumping into his videos, but there's a message there. And that is that, you know, um, it, much like his brand, skin it's like every something comes from nothing or everything comes from yeah. nothing i don't remember the exact phrasing but that's the message it's like you know we all think um that we've got to you know have all these things in order to make things happen when in reality we can make anything happen from nothing but we got to yeah. believe it's possible and most importantly after we believe we have to execute on that definitely i mean what's it he, say? he says anything is possible yeah, uh, he's proven that. It. It's positive thinking, uh, and I think he's very much into like the laws of attraction. If you think positive, positive things happen to you, and that very much happened on our trip to Hong Kong as well. So yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, I mean, this year for me alone, I, I made a, a conscious choice last year that at the start of this year I want to be happy and I want I'm not going to be positive in life and right. things have been happening, you know, and good things, you know meeting new people like meeting you finding the community on instagram and things like that it's brilliant yeah you know, it's, it's, it gives you such a a boost i will well. say, i will say this it's like this community has really helped lift me up um you know and i've never shied away from it you know years ago i used to be a very you know constantly negative person i mean constantly yeah. every view was always well you know this isn't happening because of this and you know people don't want me to be happy and everybody's out to get me, which is a, which is a fundamental thought that a lot of people have, right? It's like, you know, we all think that, or a lot of us think that, you know, the world's out to get us and there's no hope and we can't, we just simply can't do anything when in reality we're, we're getting into our own head. Yeah, that is it. And the be all and end of it all is only you can do it. Yeah. Nobody else can do it for you. If you're just waiting around for things to happen, they ain't going to happen. You've got to get up and get it and, you know, want it yourself. hundred you know, percent. It's took me a long time to realize that for myself. And, you know, and now I'm there and things are happening and things are changing and it's good. Well, bef it. well, before we get to all the good stuff, man, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about you. Let's talk about your, your background, you know, growing up, uh, you know, one of your things this year was you want to lose a hundred pounds by the end of yep. the year and you're pretty damn close four months in five months in. So, um, let's go way back, dude, like, um, you know, back to your childhood, back to your teen years. I mean, like, were you always, you know, a bigger guy or like, how did that, how did that happen for you? Cause I think we all, it all is different. You know, like some of us are introverted. We stay home. We play too many video games. Some of us are a little bit active, but we just still eat too much. Like what was your kind of background on that? Um, I've always been big. I've always been yeah. a big lad. Uh, you know, growing up, there was no, in, in my family anyway, there was no thought on that's not good for you. That's bad for you. You know, yeah. it's basically eat what you want, when you want, you know, there's no too much of that is bad for you. And, you know, it, it's one of those you you grow up in that environment, and that's all you you know. Yeah. You don't realize the damage you're doing to yourself, and that's carried on through my whole life. From you know, my dad left when I was young, and it was just me and my mum. And she has like her own; she's had her own problems in her life as well. So that's it's one of them. <laughs> you, just, yeah. you learn yourself, <laughs> and you, if you can eat what you want when you want, you, you tend to stick like that for you, as you grow up, and that's your your thought process. Sure. And even right the way through my twenties, and it's only the last few years when I've had my own kids, and then I'm like, well, telling them, no, you shouldn't eat that. That's bad for you, and we won't let them drink like Coca Cola and things like that. And good man, you know, maybe occasionally, but we, you know, and then you think to yourself, well, if I'm stopping them doing that, why am I doing it? You know, yeah, it's kind of funny, you know, right? It's like, then, you know, you're like, you're like, Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm preaching to these kids. This is what you should be doing. But in, in reality, you're not kind of practicing what, what you're preaching. Exactly. Yeah. Is it. So, you know, it's, it, it's, it's forced me over the last few years to have a good look at myself and to realize, and I mean, my weight, uh, last, so the start of last year was, let me have a look. Um, 
I'm trying to find it in kilos for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I was a hundred. I don't know. It's let me just work this out for you because I don't give you the the proper numbers here of where I was last year. Right. Yeah. Um, we we do like uh, pounds over here in the pounds. states. Yeah. Right. So I got on. I got on. A, I got on the scale January last year, and I was about three hundred and sixty-five pounds. Wow. So and uh, that's twenty six stone here, and I just thought to myself, that's not good, that's really bad. I've got to do something about this. Yeah. So last year I started, you know, I started eating healthier, getting a bit more active. Last year, right? And I lost, um, I lost about thirty pounds just last year. Yeah. And I, I made the plan consciously, looking at January, like right, first of January, that is it. I am going to hit hit this. I'm going to do it properly. And I was reading up on all the different diets and I was looking at these like these Kato diets and yeah I mean they have a thing over here called the Cambridge diet and all these different shake diets and this that and the other and I tried a couple of them and I couldn't oh, the food was it was <laughs> rank it was so bad like you know you, you get these packets things like and you add water put them in the microwave things like that I was like, oh my lord and shakes <laughs> and I, was like, I can't do that there's so much noise out there, man. Everybody's got a, everybody's got a program. Everybody thinks that their way of doing it is the right way, man. I mean, that's yeah. this is one of the issues with Instagram. You know, a lot of people, I think it's great. They jump on there. They want to document their journey. They want to accountability, yeah. all good things. But then you get on there and there's so much information. Like people are just, bam, 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 yeah. bam, you know, just hitting you hard with it. And you, you see this, and I mean, Certain diets suit certain people, and they have a lot. Of, a lot of people have a lot of success with it, but yeah. you know yourself what's going to work and what's not. And 100%. just reading about calorie deficit and how that works, and you know, burn more. It's simple. It's simple as burn more than you put in. And I thought, right, right, right. I'm, I'm going to do that. So I aimed for that, and I, I thought <laughs> Christmas came. I was like, right, I know what I'm doing from the 1st of January, so I'm going to have a good Christmas. And I put on a load of weight over Christmas as well. <laughs> oh, I hear you, man. You know what it is? Well, it's like that last um, that last time before you really start. You're like, all right, you know, we've we've eaten like complete garbage for this amount of time. And it's like, all right, well, I know that this is my hard date where I'm starting. So you know what? Screw it. We're just going to have a lot of fun for the next you know week or, or whatever. Yeah. And uh, before we get to the start, like, you know, you talk about, you know, you made a decision, you're going to, you know, you're going to start in January and really get going. But did you have like a moment? I think we all in, in time have like a moment. Maybe we see a picture or a thought comes across to us or whatever it is that actually plants the seed in your head that you are finally ready. Because I know for me, there's a, there's a picture that I see from a wedding I went to where I, it like really was crystal clear, like, holy crap, man, you got to make something happen. Did you have like a defining moment that you remember in your head a day, a moment, a thought or whatever that you had where you're like, all right, this I is a, it. I had a lot of them. <laughs> I had what, a lot of them. It but what was the one? one. <laughs> but what was like the final one, I guess, you know, right before you started? Because I think that's probably the crucial moment. Do you know what? I don't think there was just one for me. It was it was one of them where I, there was that. It was always like if my wife went to put a picture on Facebook and I'd be like, no, please don't post that. I look awful. Oh, wow. And then, okay. And then it'd be like, oh, she'd put something on and not tell me. And then I'd be like, oh, my God, I don't want people to see that. And then, you know, I weigh myself. And I think that when I, the biggest moment for me was when I was like 26 stone. Yeah. You know, that was the one for me. And I was like, nah, I can't, I can't do this. And then you've got to think about your family as well. So I've had the other time and I I did try like a few times to lose weight. And there's always that something, some excuse, oh, I'm not well, I can't, I'll have to get off it for a week and go back to normal or things like that. But, but this time I was just like, no, I'm doing it. I've got to do it. And you know, it's, it's just keeps going. It just keeps getting better. I mean, yeah, I just had to do it. And I think once I set myself that goal for first of January and I'd seen that I'd lost like that 30 pounds yeah. through the year, that, that was the moment for me when I kind of realized I can do this, this will work. So yeah. And that, that's what made me do it. I was just like, right. I've lost 30 pounds already. Let's do another hundred pounds over the year. <laughs> I love now it. I've lost, you know, I've lost, I'm, 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 I'm around about 75 pounds lost now. Um, but I keep <laughs> like going away on that trip. I go off my diet when I go away on that trip and then 
I went out this. I went out on Thursday night with the guys. Yeah, and things like that are kind of getting in the way. I'm going to Ireland this weekend, coming. So good lord, things are getting in the way. But I need to just knuckle down and lose that 25 pounds now. I'm just kind of determined to. Once Ireland's out of the way, that's it. <laughs> All bets are off. Yeah, you know it's kind of a thing too. It's like when you think, like you talk about. All right, I reached. You know, you were almost 400 at that point, or what did you say, yeah. 26 stone? Yeah. Okay. Um. I remember over the years, like, uh, you know, I'd peak at the scale periodically and it's like, okay, there was one point where I'm kind of at the weight I'm at now. And I'm like, all right, you know, this was years ago. I'm like, all right, I'm never going to let myself get to 300. Right. And then, so you check the scale, you know, a few months later or whatever it is. And it's like the next time you look, oh man, damn, I'm like 310, 315. Oh my God. I can't believe it got this bad. I'll never let myself get to 350. And then you look, you know, months later, here we are, 350. You're like, all right, well, I'll never let myself get to 400. And I feel like, you know, based on some of those shows that are out there, like the 600 pound life people or whatever, like yeah. you think to yourself, like you're never going to let it get that bad. And, and I think for me, like for me personally, 400 was a number that I looked at. Like I was like, there's no way. And I got pretty damn close. I mean, I was like probably 390 something before I got going and I was like, man, there wow. ain't no way, dude. There's just no way that this is going to, you know, going to let this happen. So, yeah, I can identify with what you said there about, you know, you you saw yourself at a certain weight. and You're like, all right, enough is enough. Well, the, th the thing with it as well is, you know, m my wife had a scale. And yeah. I don't think it wouldn't weigh over 150 kilos, I think, or something like that. Okay. So once it got to that, I was like, well, I can't weigh myself now. So I didn't weigh myself for a long, long time. Yeah. And then then I was at work and uh, I worked for a logistics company and then they had this skate parcel scale and I got on that and that wouldn't weigh me. And then I oh thought, my God. oh my God, now I've got a real problem. So I had to get on a pallet yeah. scale to get weighed. And that that's the one when I seen that I was that weight, I was, you know, nearly 160, 365 pounds and I got on that. That would, yeah. Thinking about it now, I had to get on a on a pallet scale to weigh myself. I was like, Jesus Christ! You know, you know <laughs> what though? Like, I don't know if you've ever had this thought, but there was a time, and and I I I think I'm crazy now when I look back. But like, there was a time where I was like, you know you know, maybe it'll be cool to be the bigger guy. Like, you know, you always see in movies or TV shows, like the big guys, like the cool friend, he's like the big guy. He's like, you know, bodyguard to the celebrities or, you know, whatever. Like yeah. he's a cool guy. And, and I always thought like in my mind, I'm like, you know what, maybe I could be like a bodyguard for some cool celebrity. Maybe I'll just be everybody's friend. I'll, I'll poke fun at the weight. I'm like, yeah, I'm the big guy. Watch me eat a fucking six pound hamburger, you know, <laughs> you know like, whatever <laughs> it is. I don't know. Did you ever have a thought that like being big was cool? I feel like that's a thing for a few people. Um, I the thing with me is I used to be big and healthy. That was the thing. I used to do sports. I used to play rugby, right. football, and I was a big lad, but I was a healthy lad. You know what I mean? I could walk everywhere. I could run everywhere. Sure. But like over the last few years, that disappeared, and any fitness disappeared, and yeah, and, I, and I'm start my health. I'm starting to get health problems, heart problems, you know, breathing problems, you know, things like that. And that was that was a wake up call as well. And then when it's little things like I couldn't put my socks on without sitting down. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Things people, people just take for granted, you know, they'll stand there lift a leg or put a sock on and they're fine where I couldn't do that. And, you know, I'd have to physically grab a hold of my leg and lift it up to my, and put it on top of my other leg to put a sock on. At, at the, um, at the risk of being graphic, I'll tell you this. I, I used to have issues with the restroom, you know, wiping up. Yeah. When I'm yeah. Done. I had that as well. Yeah. It was, you, you couldn't reach around properly and my, things like that. And yeah, it was it was horrible. My, yeah, exactly. my my wife would always make fun of me for my little T Rex arms. <laughs> They're still so, a problem. <laughs> yeah, that that was that was also a problem. You know, it was horrible, and it's things like that that just make you think, "Gee, what what am I doing to myself?" And then, yeah. when, and do you know what? It's only since I've lost the weight that I realize how bad it got. Oh, when yeah. I was there, I didn't really realize you just put up with those things. And I went to um, Disney World last year, Disneyland Paris last year with my daughter, mm -hmm. uh, my, two, my daughter with my family, I should say. And I was on one of the rides with my daughter, and uh, I couldn't fit in it. No uh, kidding. We were like right in the front, and the machine, the thing wouldn't fit down on me because of my belly. 
And the guy was dead nice. He's, oh, we've got we've got some seats at the back for guys with big shoulders like you. And I was like, mate, it's not my shoulders, it's my belly. But yeah. thank you. Yeah. You know, and that was that was that was another one last year. I was like, yeah, this is crap. <laughs> yeah, so, I had a problem uh, like that once. I was on a I was on a roller coaster uh, about. S- it's sort of eight, almost nine years ago now. And, uh, they tried to put the, the shoulder down thing on me and it wouldn't work. And I had, I had to get kicked off the ride, the, the ride of shame or the walk of shame rather. Yeah. All these people look like, Oh amazing. God. <laughs> yeah. No, I know that feeling. And what was yeah. the other one? It was something. Else. Yeah. Airlines getting on a plane. No kidding. Yeah, that was an issue the, too. Ask for the, the seat extent, the belt extender. You know, and you're on a plane full of people and you've got to ask for that. It's so embarrassing and you feel so ashamed of yourself, you know. <laughs> I Dude, I actually bought a backup uh, seatbelt extender on Amazon years ago. Um, yeah. And I would just bring it on my carry-on and I'd already have it ready to go so I didn't have to ask and be completely embarrassed. <laughs> it's, it's terrible, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it, it makes you miserable thinking back. <laughs> you know. It's crazy, man. It's like, what the hell were we doing to ourselves, dude? Yeah. What were we thinking? Yeah, and then that was the thing. I mean, I put that on my Instagram recently, getting on the plane, and you know how easy it was to to just put a seatbelt on and not have to worry about that. And when you're, I used to be sat at the airport waiting to get the flight, and you know people normally get anxious about flying and being in the air and things like that. Sure. And I was sat there. I'd be sat there anxious about if this would be a long enough seatbelt for me to fit. (laughs) <laughs> yeah oh yeah you know, it's horrible and you know i'd feel really i'd get i'd feel sick with with the thought of that and you know it's, it's, and it's mad to think that's only like well i suppose i lost 30 pounds last year which helped but like a year a year and a half ago that was that was where it was yeah well i you mean know. you think back now like you may not be exactly where you want to be yet, but I bet you feel 110 percent better than you did uh oh, before you lost mate. everything you've lost so far yeah you know i'm not i'm not where i want to be yet definitely but how i feel so far i mean it's the it's it's the little things people take for granted like being able to go in a shop and buy a t-shirt yeah you know not having to go online to get the 5xl shirt oh my god just going in and ordering a 2xl and you know trying it on and it fits or a jacket or things like that and that those make those things are what really makes you feel good yeah it's uh it's a good feeling i i go to a lot of concerts over here in the states and i I love concerts is one of my favorite things to do and you know their shirts would always end up at 2xl like that's the highest they would go and so for years i never got to really go and get a t-shirt even when you go on their website after the fact like they're still end at 2x like no matter what so now to go to a concert and be able to get that 2x and eventually a a 1x and actually some some single x is uh fit uh it just depends on the cut but um you know just to be able to walk up no no worries about it and just grab a shirt it's a great feeling yeah it is and like my my wife and kids just they've been away for the last couple of weeks and they just came back yesterday and my wife's brought me uh, bought me a load of t-shirts where did they go uh they just went my wife's polish so they went back to poland for a couple of weeks to visit her family um which was, you know, normally I go with them, but I've got other things I need to do this year with the, with YouTube and things like that. But hey, look at you, um, world traveler. <laughs> not quite, <laughs> but I'm getting there. But, no, um, man, you're all over the place. Uh, hold on, hold on. You went. Uh, how was? How many cities? Four cities in four days. Four cities in four days. Good yeah. lord, man! I I want to take a challenge like that because that's. I mean, were the cities pretty close together or no? Because I'm not very good geographically. Oh, no, we had to get flights to each one. So okay. We, we, we started in Amsterdam, right? And then originally the idea was we were going to hire a car and drive to these different cities. Yeah. Um, but we we just went with flights in the end because they, it was quite reasonable to fly between the cities. No kidding. Um, yeah, it was like you know twenty twenty five euro each way. Twenty five you know, euro. Yeah. So twenty five dollars. Or well, I mean, you know, reason- in dollars that'd be probably be about you know thirty odd dollars. No kidding. Like, thirty bucks. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So that's why we ended up going with that. So what we flipped. <laughs> yeah. We uh, we don't have those kind of prices in the states, Peter. Mate, it's 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 more expensive to fly from the Isle of Man where I live to anywhere in in England than it is to fly from anywhere in England to anywhere in Europe. It's crazy. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know if you've seen Simon's video recently where they flew from London to um, Norway for three pound ninety eight. Yeah, I did see that. I did see crazy, that. isn't it? And yeah. I've been looking at flights like that. Like you can fly to Gran Canaria, Ibiza, places like that for like seven ninety nine. Where is it? <laughs> oh my god, you got to do that now. No, oh, I'm going to, mate. I've got big plans, big plans for this year. But um, yeah, so we did Amsterdam. Amsterdam was great. Yeah, um, really enjoyed it. Um, then we did Paris. Paris is brilliant. Yeah, uh, we we cheated a bit in Paris though because we we got on these scooters they had there. You can hire these scooters, oh, the electric okay. scooters. And I tell you what, the laugh we had, we really enjoyed like going to like the Arc de Triomphe and the Eiffel Tower, but we really started having fun. We got on these scooters. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was Sunday night in Paris. You know, it was Sunday night in in uh, I don't know, was it this March? Yeah, Sunday night in March in Paris, and we're flying around at two o'clock in the morning on these scooters down the river. No past kidding. The Eiffel Tower, and Notre Dame, and everything, and there's no other cars on the road. And it was amazing. We just had a right laugh. We did. My you know, God, I, two o'clock in the morning. Two o'clock in the morning. Oh, we had to be leaving for the airport at six. We didn't want to go <laughs> back to the hotel. If we'd had a later what? flight, we would have been out on these. And they're only like 15 cents uh, a minute. Oh so you're, like, you're on these for 10 minutes. It's like uh, one, one and a half euro. So oh, my it's, God. You know, mate, they were so much fun. Me and Steve, who I went with, me and him are like, yeah, we need to go back. Just for the scooters. <laughs> you got to be kidding me, man. I, I There's no one here in the States riding around on freaking scooters at two o'clock in the morning. I can guarantee you that. Oh, mate, it was, it was unbelievable. Around we a city, like no less. Yeah. And the, we only, I mean, we, he's, uh, Steve's got loads of footage of it on, in his videos, but my, my, my videos didn't quite because we were having some issues with his GoPro when I was putting my video up, but. Yeah, and then so then we went. Yeah, it was great. And then we went to pa- London, and then uh, we finished off in Liverpool, which is it's kind of like the nearest c- city to the Isle of Man. So we know Liverpool really well. Spent a lot of time there. Yeah, I've never I've never done Europe. Um, this year I plan to get on get my passport. Uh, I don't know if I'll make it over there this year, but definitely next year at the at the very minimum. Um, you know, London's a place I've always wanted to see, um, just because it's like the first thing I th- I think of when I think of Europe. It's just you know, everybody talks about yeah. London, London, London. Um, but I just can't imagine four cities in four days. That's just so ambitious. And what you got out of it was incredible. I mean, the videos it are phenomenal. Fun. Uh, unfortunately, I, I was saying to you earlier that the Liverpool videos, I'm having so many problems with the memory card for that. But yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm in Dublin next weekend. So I'm going to do a Dublin video and that could be my fourth video. It's there not quite go. the same, but, you know. But uh, yeah, it was it was tiring though. Tiring. You ever make um, it over to the states? I am going to make it to the states this year when you and I go and do the Rocky Run. Oh my God, the Rocky <laughs> Run! We're doing it. I'm telling you, the Rocky Run. I'm looking forward yeah. to this thing, man. The start training, mate. Thirteen point one miles. Oh my God! <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for that one. You got plenty of time, mate. You've got like eight months to train, dude. I just went out and did a uh, six point two mile ten k. Uh, we're getting ready to go to Cincinnati. Obviously, when this airs, that'll be long past. But um, yeah, I I just went out and trained for that, and uh, my quads are just whew, they're on fire <laughs> still. Two days later, they're on fire. Yeah. Uh, so my goodness, so you 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 run that, yeah. No, I didn't run the whole thing. I, I cannot, yeah. I cannot. I'm here's the thing. I will never be a runner. Like it's just, it's just not, I don't, I have no desire to be a runner. I just, I do it because it's, it's the hard thing to do. I do it because it's a challenge. I don't do it right. because I love to run. <laughs> you and I are exactly the same. I, I like yeah. running on a treadmill. Yeah. I enjoy it on a treadmill. You've got your own tunes on it. As soon as I go outside, I don't know how to keep a pace. I'll speed up, slow down. Yep. Same you know, here. So I hate running, but the thought of doing this to, for me to travel to Philadelphia and do the Rocky run is like, yeah, I couldn't be any more out of my comfort zone to do something like that. You sure you don't so, want to do just the 5k, man? No, <laughs> if you're going to do it, we've got to do it. You know, let's not do it by half. If you're going to do it, you know, I'm doing a walk. I'm doing a walk at the end of June over in the Isle of Man called the parish walk. Yeah. Right. And that is, I'm going to attempt to walk 85 miles in 24 hours. Good Lord. <laughs> yep. 
Are you people so, like you guys must drink some kind of crazy ass water over there in the Isle of Man? You're talking about walking 85 miles in one day. I'm just, I'm over yeah. here like, man, I just did a 10K and I'm like winded. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not naive enough to think that I'll actually finish it, but I'm going to try. Yeah. But I was, I mean, I've, people keep putting me off it with yeah. what, by telling me about their injuries and things that have happened to them. I mean, I've seen pictures of people who their entire sole of their feet have come off. No like kidding. Bl- a blister the size of the, so the, the whole foot. And, you know, another a guy I work with was telling me about his brother who's, he didn't put enough Vaseline on and his testicles were bleeding with, oh my with uh, God. friction, chafing and stuff like that. And people keep telling me different stories and I'm like, oh my God, what am I doing? But I'm going to do it for charity. Yeah, uh, this is, I'm going to do it for the hospice over here. So I might do the same at the Rocky Run. Do they have a pace that you have to keep on that or is it just get yeah. it done in 24 hours? Yeah, it's called the parish walk because there's a, there's like, I can't remember how many different parishes there are in the island. But you got you walk to each parish, right? And you have to do do each parish within a certain time. I'm gonna look so, up this rocky run too because I think there's a pace that you have to keep up with in order in order to uh, you know finish without them shutting the lights off on you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see here. Let me see if I can find this um, this uh, info here because I'm I'm very curious. Um, let's see. Italian stallion challenge. Um, ba, 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 ba. Oh, so you actually have to do, you have to do a, um, a 5k and a 10 mile in order to do the 13.1 or something. I don't know if I'm reading you that can't right. Just go and do the 13.1. It says to qualify, you register for the 13.1 challenge, um, finished. Uh, first complete the 5k starting at 7 a.m then complete the 10 mile starting at 7 45 maintain at least a 13 minute per mile pace in the 5k to ensure you are lined up in time for the 10 mile start easy easy <laughs> <laughs> i love your confidence peter i'll do it in 10 no <laughs> Christ. man this is well, brave that, uh, i'm telling you this is brave I've got this, I've got this, I'm putting a video up tomorrow morning, which was a 13 mile walk. Yeah. How long did it take you though? uh, Four hours. Oh boy. (laughs) That's a long, that's a long walk. That's about what I took to do, uh, uh, the six mile or was two hours. So half of that. So we're probably walking at the same pace there. Well, this walk, it was, I've got it here. This walk, it was an elevation of 1,479 feet on that walk. Wow. Yeah. So I did a pace of, I was doing about 18, 18 minutes a mile. So that's walking. So, you know, I think I'll be able to do the Rocky run. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Knock, knock five minutes off that mile. <laughs> I normally walk about if, if I'm walking on a flat surface, cause I, that's what's stopping as well to film. Yeah. I normally walk about 13 miles a minute. No kidding. Yeah, 13 minutes a mile. Yeah. So. All right. Well, hey, you know what? What the hell, right? Yeah. Go celebrate with a cheesesteak thereafter. (laughs) Well, I did 3,247 calories on that walk, says he. Good Lord. You know, so that was was a good one. (laughs) I bet it was. (laughs) (laughs) 3,000 calories. Yeah. You know, so I I didn't eat anything as well. I literally got up and went and did that walk. All right, so, now that is insane. You got to you got to have your fuel, brother. Come on now. <laughs> I did have my fuel was the fat in my body. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Oh my so. goodness, man. That's you are insane. I see some of these walks you're doing. I'm like, man, this is insane. I know you got goals. You're trying to lose a hundred pounds uh, by the end of this year, and uh, yeah. so far you're down how many again? I'm about seventy five pounds down now. That see, that's crazy because you're over halfway in just about four or five months. I mean, that's pretty wild. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be this quick. That's what and that's why I gave myself a year to do it, because I was thinking I lost thirty pounds last year. But last year I wasn't really trying, I was just getting more active. Yeah. So to be here now is it's insane. And the thing is, I'm ha- I, I was determined not to buy any new clothes until I reached a hundred pounds, but I look so ridiculous <laughs> in all my clothes at the moment. I, I'm starting to buy stuff cause I need to, I just need to not look like 
I've stole the clothes off someone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, That's what I did when I when I started my own uh, when I started my own clothing line. I started out at, at you know I was at around, probably around three x almost, and yeah. dipping into a two x, and then I had to go and buy all new stuff um, after a couple of months because. Um, you know, I, I was starting to look ridiculous in the bigger shirts. <laughs> yeah, I, I I had this conversation at work the other day because I've got these because we we wear a uniform at work. Yeah, and the shirts um they all look ridiculous on me. <laughs> but the company the company in a couple of months is changing. It's like it's 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 uniforms and everything. So my boss is like, "Can you not just hold out for a couple of months?" And I'm like, "Seriously, look at me." <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> so I need to get a couple of shirts just to last me until we get the new ones. <laughs> yeah, no, I hear you, man. I hear you. It's it's tough being in that in that middle ground because you're you don't want to look like a damn fool, but at the same time, you want to be comfortable because the next size down may not be fully right on you yet. You know, you may have a little belly yeah. hanging out, or it's just pushing it out tight the wrong way. I totally get it. I'm like, I'm. In between XL and 2XL now. That's my size now. Yeah, that's where I'm at. So, we're so we're about the same X, place. Yeah, from five from five XL down to this, it's pretty insane. Yeah, you ever you ever throw on any of the old shirts just for fun? Uh, yeah, yeah, I use them just to you know toss about the house. <laughs> <laughs> that might make you know. for a good uh, Instagram post. Find the one that's the biggest on you, throw it on, and and do a, a like a transformation Tuesday or something. Yeah, I might do that. I did. I did that with a pair of jeans a couple of days ago. On yeah, it, I, bought, I bought a new pair of Levi's. I always loved Levi's when I was younger, and I could fit into them. I've not had a pair, owned a pair of Levi's for like fifteen years, if not longer, maybe yeah. twenty years even. So it was nice to actually get a pair. And they, and I, I thought I'll just in case I'll go for a size uh, forty inch waist, and they're too big for me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've gone in the time it's took them to get here. I've gone from like a forty inch down to a thirty inch waist, thirty eight inch waist. So oh, it's crazy! It's absolutely yeah, but, crazy. But they still fit, you know. I've got the belt on them and the deck yeah. crazy, so I'm quite happy with it's that. It's all that. Know. It's all that walking, man. Is that how you lost a majority of the weight, other than uh, dieting? Was it mostly walking, or it's 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 definitely the the walking, the burning the calories and. Uh, eating to my calorie deficit, you know, being a minus deficit, and right. watching exactly what calories I'm putting in. What kind of diet I, did you did you choose, or are you just kind of eating stuff that you like, just less of it? Or well, there's that. I'm I'm eating healthier. I cut yeah. out bread. Wow. Um, so I'm not eating any bread. Yeah. Um, That's a big one. It is. It was massive for me because I would, eat, you know, I, I don't know in America. Do you guys ever eat beans on toast? Mm, uh, I'm sure people do. I I don't. Yeah. I don't like beans. That's like a, that's a British thing, I think. You know, so I'd eat <laughs> I'd eat beans on, beans on toast at like six slices of toast. Wow! Beforehand, that would be my breakfast. You know, that's before I'd eat anything else in the day. Whereas now, I uh, we've got a cereal over here called Weetabix. Right. So my my breakfast is three of them every morning. That's it with, with se- semi skim milk. You ever then, you ever do oatmeal? Uh yeah, I've I've, I've I've I never used to, but I, I've got these um these like instant oats. Yeah, uh, if I'm if I'm running late in the morning, I'll take that to work with me and I'll eat that. I'll just you know just put the boil the kettle, heat it up, and that I'll do that instead of the Weetabix. Yeah, uh, they're about the same. They're about two hundred and some calories, so it's not bad. Yeah, I um, I'll tell you this. I I never liked like regular oatmeal, but uh, apple and cinnamon has always been a staple since I was a kid. And yeah. uh, what I found in the last year or so, a nice little hack that would keep me full for most of the morning was if I took a tablespoon of peanut butter and dropped it in with the uh, cinnamon and apple oatmeal and stirred it around. And that thing would really like keep me full for hours. I mean, it was, it was like a, a nice little hack that I found. I think that's like, a, it's, it's an American thing. It must uh, be. Peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly. We've got <laughs> yeah. a jar, we've got a jar of peanut butter in the house, but that's for the dog. <laughs> for the dogs. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Are you trying to say that us Americans, uh, the peanut butter and jelly, this is, we're we're dogs essentially? <laughs> no, no. I mean, my kids will, will eat peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yeah, because because they see people eating them in America and on YouTube and stuff. But <laughs> I love I love that great I, combination. I, I love that you're like, yeah, we have a jar of peanut butter, but it's for the dog. <laughs> It is. He's got this like bone. You put treats in, and then you put the put the peanut butter on it, and give it to him, and he, he licks the peanut butter before he gets to the treats. Like, good you know? lord! 
I never well, felt um, more like an animal in my life. Thanks, Peter. <laughs> uh, what else um, yeah. So then lunch times, I'll, I'll eat. I'll tend to eat like a chicken salad or a yeah. tuna salad. But loads of salad because that fill. You can eat lots of salad and it's got no calories in it. Hell it yeah. Really fill you. And they've got this um, this low, uh, lower than low mayo yep. over here now. This Hellman's mayo, and it's like. Uh, 50 grams of it's like 26 calories wow you know what i mean yeah so i like smother everything in that (laughs) (laughs) So i'll eat that for me lunch and then i tend to like have something nice for dinner like you know i'll have a a proper meal but again you know if i'm making it or my wife's making it we'll we'll weigh it measure it and then we use my fitness pal so we know exactly how many calories are in it so i don't go over that deficit and then after and then I don't eat anything between seven in the evening and seven in the morning as well. So I only I, for twelve hours of the day, I'm not intaking any calories. You know. There you go. Too. So were and you then, were you always like a cook, or um, you know, did you start liking cooking more when you were trying to lose the weight? No, I don't even like cooking now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I I like quick and easy. So what I'll do is on a Sunday night, I'll I'll pre- I'll prepare all my salads. I've got these tubs, so I'll have all my lettuce, you know, jalapeno peppers, uh, onions, everything will go in that yeah. salad box. And all I've got to do is either add the tuna or add it, you know, cook some chicken and add that in the day. So quick and easy. Yeah. And then, then so that's your day up till 7 p.m. Then I don't eat anything. Then I go out for my walk and I'm, I tend to do between five and 10 miles every night. So every five miles is a, is a thousand calories burnt. Wow! So you know, you know where you are then with your calories and where you're intake and that you're burning more than you're putting in. So that's why the weight's coming off. I think it's because I'm just being strict on that. Yeah, that's a good thing. You know, I want to. I want. I'm going to be like that's me today. Now, right through till next Friday when I go to Ireland is like strictly on that this week so I can lose that little bit more before I go over and see all my family. Cause I'm not seeing them for a couple of years. So it's going to be nice to see them and see their reaction to how I look, you know? Oh, definitely. I mean, you made an incredible transformation thus far. I mean, good Lord, man. I mean, the pictures, it really shows. Yeah. Thanks man. <laughs> I, 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 I will tell people uh, where, what's your uh, Instagram handle? Uh, Jonesy 27 Jonesy 27 yeah I gotta yeah. pretend like I don't know uh, just on, <laughs> so just on everything, mate. It's, I, I'm been quite lucky that I've got Jonesy 27 on Twitter Jonesy 27 on Insta Jonesy 27 on YouTube so but how, how do you there. how do you arrive at uh, Jonesy 27 how do you arrive on that uh, my birthday is 27th of January okay so I always had 27 as my lucky lucky number right so I, I just I think it was I think it was originally my uh my uh xbox game attack <laughs> that's what i think it was so it come from that and then but it's it's stuck and it's got a nice little ring to it jonesy 27 so and oh yeah. so you're so you're you're into the gaming too well that's the thing i was yeah. i have i've got an xbox one sat on my desk here and i've got a playstation 4 sat on my desk here and i've not switched them on since the last day of december no kidding I've not touched them. And weirdly, like I see all these games that I want to play and I start feeling nauseous at the thought of sat here for hours doing nothing, playing on my, on my Xbox, on my PlayStation. Oh my God. Yeah. I, uh, well, like, uh, I haven't played in a while. Um, I, uh, the next game that's coming out that I really want is mortal Kombat. That's coming out next week. That'll show people kind of when we recorded this, but grew up, uh, grew up with mortal Kombat. I did yeah yeah the new one looks good have you seen it i haven't seen anything about it how old are you gary i'm uh 36 i'll be 37 in august so there's only a year but i was 38 in january so there's only a year between us so we've probably grown up loving the same sort of things oh 100 percent. yeah video games things like that you know so you're you're 81 baby i am Ah, okay what what month january okay january right right at at the beginning of the year yeah wow (laughs) Yeah, we so, yeah we're right around the same age thing because I one of my best friends actually uh, eighty one yeah so it's about right around the same uh, age yeah it's funny that we're so far away but we've gone through the same sort of journey that's the, mental, isn't it? 
that's the thing I, I tell people. It's like, you know, we all, we all come from different, you know, walks of life, but the goal, I mean, it remains the same. We may have different ways of getting there, but the goal kind of in, in, a, in a sense is the same. And what I found is as a community, we come together, especially on Instagram, huge community over yeah. there. And, you know, we all have different diets or how we do it, but at the, at the core of it all, we all have the same idea. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We want to be fitter and we want to be healthier and we want to be happier. That, exactly. That's the core of it, isn't it? Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. It's, it's mad. You know, I, th- I, I'm thinking a lot about it recently that I, I always thought I made a choice January the 1st, I'm going to get fitter. Right. But the choice is really, I'm going to get happier. That's really what it comes down that, to. I mean, you know, is it, isn't it? You know? Yeah. I think it's great that you have a goal of, you know, losing a hundred pounds, but after a while, you know, after you get into, to this journey and you really realize that this is the, this is the time and you're not, you're not straying away from it. It's like when you really start to give up the obsession with the scale and not that maybe you're obsessed with it, but I think a lot of people are. And when you kind of give up that obsession and you learn that, you know, there's more ways to define happiness, to measure happiness. Yeah. You know, you can take measurements, you can look in photos, you can just see how you feel, uh, how you get out of bed every morning, whether you're in pain or not. Um, and there are so many yeah. different ways of measuring oh, happiness. Mate, actually being able to lie in bed. Yeah. The, the, up, like last, the last for years, I used to be up at five or six in the morning before the whole house because my back was so sore, I couldn't lie in bed any longer. Right. Now I can actually lie in bed and have a lie in. It's great. But the problem is I don't want to because then I feel lazy, so I have to get up. <laughs> <laughs> I still have those days, honestly, and, and there's nothing wrong with it, uh, Peter. It's like, you know, there are some days, you know, like you have your routine, you're on your routine. You know, usually for me, it's like five days a week. I'm on the routine. The weekend, it's a little bit more lax. I still work out, but I rest a little bit more. I'm like, okay, it's okay to lay in bed for that extra hour. It's not going to kill me. Uh, as long as I get up and do the things that I got to do, that's all that matters. Yeah. No, that's true. You know, I do. I do like to to have that little bit of a lie in there. Yeah, my own. You have yeah, to. I, I, You'll go nuts if I you don't. A, I had to have a very lazy day yesterday because I went. Uh, what day? it is Saturday today, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, I, I messed up at all the bank holidays, but I went out with my, with my mates on Thursday night. So yeah. I don't drink now. So when I do drink, it's uh, I'm having really pro- I'm having problems with drinking now. Really? Yeah, like because of because I've lost this weight. Yeah, I don't know what my limits are drinks wise anymore. Whereas, like, I go out on a night out last year and I'd have ten pints of lager and I'd be absolutely fine. Where now I'll drink like four pints and that's me. I'm done. I'm ready to go home. Yeah. <laughs> I no, just, it's crazy. That, your limits change because your body's changed. Yeah, that loss in mass is just really affected me. So, and the other thing, I feel so even today that like, I feel really bloated and horrible after drinking on on Thursday night. It's I don't feel as good as I did the day I went out. You know what I mean? Right. How much water are you uh, drinking a day? Uh, I drink a few liters every day. Okay. Um, I don't. I have to do the math on that liters and. <laughs> I I drink one gallon a day. Like you guys have a gallon over there, like a gallon jug. Yeah, it's about eight pints, isn't it? A gallon, so something like that. I, yeah, so that's about what I drink. I should be drinking around that. I don't drink quite that much. Um, but I'm going to this week. I'll you tell know, you what, that thing I'm will flush you out, brother. Me. It'll flush you out it big will. time. Yeah, I think this week I'm going to be proper on it because I want I want to be I want to be feeling really good when I get on that flight to Belfast on Friday mo- Friday afternoon. Yeah, um, yeah, but I just I'm, I'm feeling great. Otherwise, like you know, just just fitting into jeans and t-shirts and things like that. Just it just makes it makes such a difference to how you feel. It's, it's crazy, you know. I know. And, and you talk about how you're going to make this year the best year, you know, of your life and you got so many big plans. I mean, what better way to ring in this year than, than getting healthy? I mean, God lay, man, yeah. you're down 75 freaking pounds and you've got all these plans this year. I mean, this is going to be the highlight for you. Do you know what? I, the thing is like, I'm, I'm already making plans. So when I hit a hundred pounds, yeah, you know, I'm I'm got it's gonna go the other way then. Once I hit a hundred pounds, I'm w I want to get ripped. Yeah. I wanna get I wanna look good. I wanna like I want I want biceps to size of my head. That's <laughs> like sort of thing. You know what I mean? That's yeah. where I'm aiming now. It's like you're okay. And you know, I'm doing loads of different exercises now, just um 
I've still I, I did a video a while ago about trying out all the different gyms in my town. Yeah. I've still not picked one. You still haven't picked <laughs> Cause, one. No, because I'm going out walking and I'm I'm doing the videos and I'm dieting and I'm doing all other stuff and I just don't have time to go to the gym at the moment. Um and the other side of it is I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm meeting with a friend of mine tomorrow or tonight or tomorrow who's uh he does bodybuilding competitions. Right. And he um a couple of years ago he was a big boy like he wasn't quite as big as I got, but he was a big lad. And you see him now, and that lad is, he is, you know, ripped. He's in Mr. Universe competitions and things like that. Right. So our plan is to, we're going to have a, com- a conversation and make a plan for me to start getting into that sort of shape. Oh, man. The thing now, looking at myself now. Yep. Um, I, I could see a difference already. I could, you know, my. My man boobs have become pecs. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't yeah. have moobs anymore. I can, yeah. I can see like a line and a shape starting to come to my to my chest and you know my shoulders and my back and my arms. You know I can see difference. My, my, my you know I've I've actually got biceps now instead of just fat. Yeah. So that's kind of motivating me to think. Mm, do you know what? I could get really fit. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's that's kind of motivating me as well. So it's not all about the numbers at the moment, which it should be because I've got to hit that hundred pounds. You know, I've made a point this year. Sure. But it's seeing phys- you know, seeing the difference physically now. That's starting to make you know, that's starting to boost me a bit and make me feel good. And you know, these planks, these planks are just I love oh, them. Man, Mate. they're brutal though, right? Yeah, I went. I was in. I was in. Uh, we've got a gym over here called the Fitness Pod. Right, where it's just like your pod. You go in, you pay, you pay for, pay for the hour, tenner for the hour, and all they've got is they've got uh, dumbbells, exercise ball, treadmill, epileptical, uh, rowing boat, and a bike. And that's it. And it's your, it's, you're in this little pod for an hour. Yeah. And I was in there the other day, and I was doing the, all the different types of planks. I spent half an hour just doing like you know we were on one leg and one arm. Oh my god. Arm. And then I was doing the one, you know, where you're moving your legs in and out, and you, then you're doing, you're lifting your arms, doing all that, and it just felt great. So I've got a thing about that. I've got my entire office. We're all doing the um, the 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 plank challenge. You know, yeah. we've got for 30 days to get up to five minutes. Oh so my we're all god! A minute and a half on that at the moment. So I'm I'm you know, barely at a minute right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, mean, I I haven't gone to failure yet. I reckon. I reckon I could do if I went to failure. I reckon I could do two and a half, three minutes. Man, <laughs> you're a beast. <sighs> not quite, not, I, well, not quite, but I feel good. Well, you know, it's it's a nice feeling. Well, I've, I've been doing the DDP yoga, and he has this alligator plank that he does, and he have, yeah. he has you hold it for twenty seconds, and just that kills me. But then I, I've been able to get it up to a minute, minute five, and that's about where my limit is right now. But I'm I'm working on it. Let me Google that. DDP. DDP. Okay. It's, um, you know, you, you lower down to your forearms and then you hold up and plank and, uh, man, it just, Ooh, God, that thing, that thing kills me. I got to tell you, I mean, it just kills me. But what I've noticed when, when he has us doing the plank, how much it's helped me when he goes to do the push up part of his workout because he has like yeah. three count push ups. And when I first started a couple of months ago, I was not able to do them nearly at all. I had to drop to my knees. And now a couple of months in, I'm able to uh to do them uh just about. I mean, there's still a little bit of shaking. My body is still shaking a little bit, which is good, but um yeah, it, it, it's brutal, dude. I think I'm. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, do that DDP yoga because it does look good. You should. I've, I've done a little bit. Yeah. Uh, just practicing it at home, and I think just for the mobility of it as well would be great. Well, I think um, on his app he has a, he has a mobile app, and uh, I think there's like a it's either a one week or a one month free trial. And yeah. I mean, you just try it out. You, you, you just, you give it a shot and you, if you like it, you keep going. If you don't, you say, all right, well, it didn't work out for me. Um, but at least you can try it. And, and that, that, um, that free trial will unlock the entire app. So you can try in that week or month or however long it is, you can try every level of workout and see what works best for you. 
Hey, I'm downloading it as we speak. DDP yoga now. Yeah, there you go. I'm on it. You got it. Look at you. <laughs> I mean, I might, I, uh, have you seen the video? I might of, get the, my wife to do it with me as well. I yeah, that. you should film it too because it's. I, I like to film them and put them up on Instagram. Um, I've seen them. Yeah, I've seen them. Have, have Especially you, the, what was the one you had the other day? You sped it up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I did a time lapse. I got my, I got my yeah. GoPro, which is actually what I'm filming on now for the podcast. Because I'm actually doing a test run, um, a video. Eventually, I want to do video of every podcast. But um, yeah, I this GoPro has come in handy because I can just set it up, put it anywhere I, I need to put it, and so I'll set it up in portrait mode and uh, film all my DDP yoga workouts. Um, what I was going to ask you is, have you seen the video on YouTube, Vance Hines transformation? Is that the ex marine guy? No, that's uh, that's Arthur, which is an incredible video as well. But uh, Vance is the guy I actually had on this podcast, and we talked about his journey. I've actually got a video on this channel, the YouTube channel, um, of the audio of me uh, talking to Vance. And if you're listening on just the podcast, uh, if you go back, I want to say it's episode 81, I think. Just scroll back in the archives, garyspodcast.com, and you can find the interview. It's about an hour or so with Vance, and his transformation is just unreal. Me, I'll have a look. I'll definitely have a look. Yeah, I, I think like 30 yeah. million people have seen this video by now. It's unbelievable. But wow. uh, you go on you go on the Instagram and you look up the DDP yoga hashtag and you'll see a lot of people that have had insane amount of results. So there's a Facebook group and I don't I have to make this clear in every podcast because I know people will think otherwise. I don't make a dime from DDP yoga. I'm not affiliated with them in any other uh, any way other than I use the product. I believe in the product. And um this it's just a great community of people, very uh, very inspiring, and uh, you see great results if you put the work in. Is that? I mean, I take it it involves diet, your diet as well. Of course, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, no, I'm 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 gonna give it a go, mate. I'll let you know how I get on. Yeah, what the hell, right? Just go ahead and <laughs> if you tag DDP Yoga and Diamond Dallas Page in your post, uh, he'll see it. And he actually, what I like about him is he'll reach out and, and throw you a few words of kind encouragement. You know, he's a big star, you know, and he yeah. takes the time to to reach out to the people that are actually putting in the work. And he'll say, you know, good job, bro, and all that. And, you know, that goes a long way for people, I think. Definitely, yeah. He, he seems like a top guy when you see him in interviews and, and you hear what people have to say about him as well. He does seem like a really good guy. Yeah, I did meet him and and he is he is so nice. He's everything I imagined he would be when I met him. And uh just uh just a quality quality guy, man. What can I say? You know, you could tell he's really in it for the right reasons and he really wants to help people. Oh, well, that's good. I like that. Yeah. So that is good. No, I'm gonna uh give it a go. I've got the app downloaded already. <laughs> definitely definitely i know we were talking a little bit earlier about the uh the instagram and all that stuff how how long have you been on there you know before you found like the the community the weight loss community um i've actually been on i've got two in, instagram channels i've got one that's just like I've, like a personal one i've always used sure and when i decided to you know when i was i wasn't really sure where i was going with youtube and uh everything i started it last year right and I enjoyed it. And I, I, I mean, originally I was doing gaming, but I was just like, I'm rubbish at gaming. Why am I doing this? I need to, <laughs> I need to find something that I can do that I can engage with people and, you know, yeah. that would work better. And that's, uh, I thought I can tie this in with my plan to lose weight. Sure. And that's when it's really started doing well. And, um, like on, on my Twitter, I've, I, my Twitter, I've, I've got like 11, nearly 12,000 followers on Twitter. Good Lord. Yeah. And that's all down to, cause I, I, do, I used to do a lot. I used to, my channel used to, on Twitter used to be called LFC review. Cause I'm a big Liverpool football club fan. Right. You know, and I used to just do st stuff about Liverpool tweets and for ages and ages. And, uh, that's where all my followers came from on there. Um, so I was kind of worried when I changed everything to Jonesy 27 and thought, right, I'll, I'll start a new Instagram and I'll, I'll just got it's going to be Jonesy 27 but the, people haven't left you know on Twitter <laughs> I get so much encouragement off off other Liverpool fans as well and um you know I'm getting tweets from people telling me that I'm inspiring them as well and it's such a boost and yeah so I've been on Instagram a while I've been on Twitter since 2009 and 
you know, so it's just, it's a bit mad. <laughs> That's insane, dude. It's, yeah, it's good. As, it is good. I do enjoy it. Yeah. I, I, I like, I like creating stuff as well, though, you know, and I do actually enjoy the, the process of making a video, especially when, when you sit back and think that video is really good. I really enjoyed that and it looks good. And then when people start giving you compliments on them, you know, it's like you said, it is all a learning process as well. Oh I my mean, God. <laughs> you learn something new every video, don't you? Like transitions and, you know, the music and it's good. It's been a process, Peter. I got to tell you, it's, it's been, <laughs> a, it's been a process and, you know, I've uploaded these videos, uh, the WrestleMania ones, and I'm starting to see they're getting some clicks, you know, like yeah. a lot of them have about 20, 25 views. And I know some people listen like, Oh God, only 25 views. Like I'm thankful for that. And then even there's one of them that has like, I think almost 50 views. And I'm like, good Lord, man. Like this is awesome. Um, it means a lot to me, you know? Um, and yeah, I did a video, I did one video where I took my father father-in-law to uh myrtle beach yeah, and surprised him yeah and that one's That's got like brilliant. almost 200 views i'm like good lord Mate, so it's, it's i'm thankful great, isn't it? and then when you start getting comments as well that's good when people start commenting on them yeah so that's, that is really good i am um, i'm gonna watch all your videos i watched the first wrestlemania one yeah so like i said i've, I've kind of just stayed away from youtube for the last week or so just sure i just needed to concentrate on my on my weight loss because i find now i'm i'm thinking more about making videos than i am about losing weight and that's the wrong way around to be thinking about it if, yeah if youtube was if I, if I was making an income and making money from youtube fair enough but at the moment it's it's you know it's just it's it's fun and it's nice to share but i've got to i've got to have a bit of time there to, to concentrate on my walks and my weight weight loss it's all about finding you know? that balance brother it is you I'm know still i'd love to be one of these people it. who is full-time creator it'd be great but at the yeah. moment I'm, I'm a long way away from that that is that is the dream i mean i you know it took me 12 years in podcasting before i made a dime from it and i'm thankful every day uh that i'm able to to generate an income from the podcast and uh here's hoping that that is the start to something really special with content creation as a whole and just I putting out so, you deserve it well, you, you, i appreciate it it's great enjoy it i appreciate it. you know you putting know. out podcasts like this videos um and all that stuff and and just uh in hopes to help people you know sharing stories uh sharing other people's stories and just showing people that they're not alone you know that they have hope yeah. that there is uh there are a lot of people out there right now they think uh they're lost they're, they have a lot of anxiety they think there's no hope they think that it's not possible to do the things they want to do and i'm here to say that in fact Yes, there is, uh, you yeah. know, guys like Simon putting out the videos that he does proving that, you know, something, uh, everything can come from, from nothing. You can just make it happen. It. Um, yeah. I get inspired. I mean, you ever watch these guys on YouTube? Yes. Theory. Yeah. They yeah, inspire the hell that, out of yeah. me. It's, it, it, it's great, isn't it? It just, you just watch some things and they just resonate with you, don't they? And you think, yeah, yeah that's, that's the one for me. You 100%. Know, uh, that that was another thing about thinking positive. You know, I made that choice this year for this year that um, things are going to change. And you know, that's when Simon reached out to me to go go to Hong Kong with him. It was just like it's. I think it's all part of it. Now, it's did, all part. Did, of it. did you know him before or? No, not really. Um, I did a video about him, like just like a tongue in cheek uh, Simon Wilson review. I called it. A lit a um, liter a literally video. Yeah, that was the one. Yeah, <laughs> literally. And, uh, and he uh, he 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 reached out to me with, with that and he, he put put it in one of his videos and um, that was great. And then yeah, um, he had a com a merch competition, so I got one of his hoodies. Yeah, and uh, look of the draw, it came down to me going on a trip with him. So good lord, it was, yeah, it was just amazing when he contacted me as well. I was I was studying for something at work. It was like yeah. five o'clock in the morning. He was in Dubai. Right, and I got the message. Yeah, uh, can I talk to you? Are you free? So I was like, <laughs> yeah, ring me. That so he rang me, and the next thing, <laughs> two days later, we're flying to Hong Kong. It was nuts. Good <laughs> lord, man. <laughs> yeah. And that, that was an amazing trip, you know, once in a lifetime sort of trip that was. And he's he's a top bloke. He's he's kept in touch. We talk, you know, every other week now and yeah. messages. He sends me messages, encouragement on Insta when he sees what I'm up to, and it's good. He's a good guy. 
Yeah, I definitely, I hope that our paths cross at some point. I've always commented, I said, hey man, if you're ever in the States, because I saw the, I saw the going across the country video and uh, I was like, oh my God, I wish I knew about him then. You know, I would have given him a place to stay. I would have given him a ride anywhere he wanted to go at any time. Um, So I hope our paths cross one day. I'd love to throw him up here on the podcast and and talk about his, his journey as well. Cause I just think that, you know, we've all got unique stories and that's certainly a unique story if I've ever heard one. One. Well, I, I think I'll, I'll be definitely uh, putting a link to your podcast on my Insta and stuff, so you'll see it. So hopefully you'll have a listen. I'll, uh, I'll drop him a message telling him we're talking about him, that'll get him on. <laughs> <laughs> Jones is slagging me off. I've got to hear what he's saying. Yeah, he's talking <laughs> trash. You should Actually, you should start the message. You should have heard this guy talking all this trash about you. That's yeah, usually how you get God. their attention. <laughs> God, I was talking so much shit about you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, man, I think we've said it all today. I really do. Um, so... Uh, when, when, when we come down to the close here, when we wrap up, um, when you look out to the next couple of years, three, five, 10 years, I mean, like what is like your top couple of goals? What are you working on, uh, you know, for these goals, setting you up in the next couple of years? What, what, what do those look like? Well, uh, continue to get fitter, yeah. get healthier. Um, I hope to go, I hope my YouTube channel gets, gets a bit bigger and, you know, I love the messages of support on there and, you know, the messages from people tell me that I'm inspiring them to get up and get off their ass and go out walking. And that really, I just want more of that. Really. It's, it's such a, like you said yourself, it's such a good feeling when somebody tells you you're inspiring them. hundred percent. Yep. You know, one of the first messages I got on, on YouTube or comments was a lady said, look, your videos are really helping me with my weight loss. Please keep going. Please don't stop. And, you know, and, the days like the last week or so when I'm feeling, oh, you know, I need a break from it. But that, it's, you think about that and that pushes me back to, right, I've got to get another video. I've got, got to show people what I'm up to now. And I think for the next couple of years, it's, you know, family, fitness, and just see where I can get with my, with my uh, creating content. You know, it's good. I love it. I love it. And so, there's, and, and there's the Rocky run with you at the end of the year. <laughs> Man, 13.1. That's whew. it's a goal, mate. And that, that, do you know what? That's another thing I've found. If I set myself a goal, yeah, I, I go for it, you know. Yep, and you know, that that's a big that's something for me anyway. That if I, if I give myself a goal, I'm going for them. So, man, yeah, what a goal! Give that a try. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, um, you want everybody to go where Jonesy 27 on all the stuff. Yeah, on Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube, just search Jonesy27. I'm on there and reach out to me, get in touch. It'd be great to hear from people. Yeah, you know, go especially do it. people going through the same thing we're going through. Yeah, let us know if you're going to come to the Rocky Run in November. We'd all like to have a big meetup over there. Mate, it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I will be coming to visit you this year. I promise you that. If it's for the Rocky Run or if it's just for us to hang out, I will be there this year. Oh, we're, we're cool. making it happen 1,000%. Yeah. Definitely. Well, Peter, thank you so much for the time, brother. We've, we've really said it all. I really appreciate uh, you taking some time to chat on the podcast today. Yeah, man, I really enjoyed it. Thank you. you you've taken my uh, podcast virginity today. So. <laughs> oh, man. Feels good. Oh, <laughs> feels good. <laughs> I'm going to go outside and have a cigarette now. <laughs> Well, man, I'm happy to I'm happy to have met you, brother. This is uh, this is great. It's gonna be a great year. It is, mate. It is. Listen, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care. Remember at the beginning of the show, I mentioned a little thing called Patreon. Well, I'd love to have you join me. But Gary, what is Patreon? It's a website that is helping small creators like me raise funds to further expand their creative visions. For as low as $1 a month, you can help me further my dream of reaching as many people as possible and eventually taking the show on the road to meet all these fine people face to face and add a video element to this podcast. If you were to donate $4 a month, you'd be hearing this show a few days earlier with no commercials and getting access to my close friends group on Instagram. 
Donate $10 a month and you get all that plus your name right at the beginning of the show alongside other producers. But act fast. That tier is limited to 10 people. I've got a whole lot more to offer and you can get all the details over at patreon.com slash Gary Cantrell. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you. Thanks so much for checking out the show and I'll talk to you again really soon. Hardworkalwayswins.com. It's more than just a clothing line. It's my mantra. I speak it. I wear it. I live it. And I'd love to have you join the Hard Work Squad. We're constantly adding new items to the store, including our brand new future-ish hats, which come in a variety of colors, including camo. I mean, who doesn't like camo? We also just put our famous Splash logo in gold to match our OG logo, and there's so much more here, you just got to check it out. Here's the best part. Use the code PODCAST at checkout to take 10% off of your very first order and join the Hard Work Squad today.